जरूर आउट बढ़ा जाए पहुंच सके नमस्कार जय हिंद थैंक यू श्री जी एस पॉन जी Thank you, Chairperson, Madam, for giving me the opportunity to express my views in this calling attention of Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports. The Union Government has allotted a sum of rupees 3,062 crores as against last year's rupees 2,757 crores. As we all know, this year Asian Games are scheduled to be held in China and the Commonwealth Games in England. Hence, the Union Government has increased the budget only marginally for the participation of Indian teams in the forthcoming games. But there is no increased allocation of funds for training and preparation for international participation, being the games are financed by the government. It has been observed that there is no remarkable infrastructure development in the country because of shortage of funds. Government should construct modernized infrastructures for practice and competition with the international standard for the betterment of sports all over the country. I would pr proudly like to mention our Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, Dr. M. K. Stalin, has allocated funds for each assembly constituency to build a mini stadium all over Tamil Nadu to identify the young talents and to catch them young, that is in the grassroots level and also proposed to construct a modernized sports city in Chennai, and the budget has also been allocated by our Tamil Nadu government. The Kelo India scheme is conducting events for only limited disciplines with selective states and for the selective age groups. So I suggest to conduct the games all over the country to involve every state. This should be conducted in all rural villages as a sports movement and all major disciplines. From, the, from that competition, players will be selected for the next level of training. <laughs> Madam, this is my real concern. Most of the national sports federations are fighting among themselves, and the cases are before in the courts, which spoils the players' future and their interest. Players from the disputed federations are not able to participate in any of the national championships. Hence, they are not able to get their merit certificate to get their eligibility to enter into jobs. So this ministry should intervene and settle the issues. Sorry to mention here that the prime and the country's top sports controlling body, that is the Indian Olympic Association, is also fighting in the court instead of fighting for medals in the sports. Only Olympic movement is meant for peace and harmony as you are preparing for participation in the Asian Games and Commonwealth Games. It's a very unfortunate situation in the field of sports. The sports ministry should exercise the power to settle all the issues in the sports fraternity. I am also the president of Tamil Nadu Volleyball Association. I am the elected president. I would like to raise my concern about the Volleyball Federation of India. The election was held in March 2020 with the observers from the sports ministry and Indian Olympic Association. But still, there is no final decision on the results yet. Since then, no official championships was held and the players are not able to play to get for the future. Based on the above situation and fight among the groups in the most national sports federation, the Ministry of Sports should interfere and conduct the national championships for the welfare of players. This COVID situation has spoiled the future of a large number of players across the country by not able to participate in any of the national championships in all games. Due to this, situation that age eligibility criteria uh, has also exceeded. Keeping this situation in mind, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports should uh, liberalize the age restrictions for the competitions and for the recruitment in the public sector and uniform services. Our country is having enormous potential in the field of sports. It's evident in the last Tokyo Olympic Games, but we are talking only during the Olympic Games, but med uh, about medals, it's high time the Sports Authority of India should plan to get the medals and glory in the next Olympics. Government should insist all sports federations to adopt and follow National Sports Development Code 2011. Most of the federations are not following the code. Sports ministry should oversee this make and make them to implement the code should be mandatory. The expert committee should be formed to monitor coaching programs by Sports Authority of India by inducting ex-international and awardees. According to sports code, 
25% play should index in the administration of federations. Above committees will be formed on zonal levels to monitor the expertise respective zones. Two minutes, ma'am. More funds should be allocated for the promotion of rural games and non-Olympic sports. Many new sports having international reputation should be encouraged. National Institute of Sports Education must be encouraged by the exchange program with other country sports universities to gain more expertise coaches, sports science, and sports medicine should be educated among the players. Meritorious sports persons are recruited by various ministries, departments, public sector undertaking under Government of India in accordance with privilege rules, but due to COVID situation, rules cannot be followed, so the government should relax the rules for the recruitment of eligible players. Compulsory physical education scheme to be implemented in schools to involve and promote the interest of playing among the children, especially coaches to be appointed to the support the school physical education system. Talent search and development programs of SAI should be encouraged at a village level. Thank you for this opportunity, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Sri M. Guru Murthy Ji.